Hi, this is Angel. I'm calling from Baltimore, and I love listening to the Tower Hill Show. This is Chris Abrisco calling from Jacksonville, Florida, and I love listening to the Tower Hill Show. Hi, this is Gloria Smith calling from Saginaw, Michigan, and I just love the Tyra Hill Show. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? It is your leading lady, Tyra Hill, and you're most definitely listening to the Tyra Hill Show. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome to all of our first-time listeners. And if you decided to come back after rocking out with us one time, we say welcome back. Welcome back. Remember that song? Welcome back. I used to love welcome, that show. Welcome back, See, Carter. I remember that right. show. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, listen, I need for all of my fans to know that my girl K. Michelle is coming to the DMV area Uh-oh. at Ram's Head next weekend. K. Michelle and, and her little midget friend. And her little midget friend. <laughs> her booty. <laughs> You know what? Real, 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 real quick. about in third person. Right. Her booty in third person. Right. right. Me and my. Me I, and I have to, you know, I have to give kudos, you know, where kudos is due. I really didn't care for K. Michelle in the beginning. When really? I saw her on Love and Hip Hop, um, mm-hmm. it just, um, she kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Really? But as I started following her, and understand this, as women, it's so many layers to us and a lot of times the trials and tribulations that we go through mm-hmm. we wear them in or in more ways than one Absolutely. and so i had to understand her struggle you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and and so as a sister girl i was like okay i'm just not the type of chick to not just like somebody so let me figure out what you know what's going on with her but just listening to her story and hearing everything that she had to go through to get to where she is I can respect it I respect her hustle and her as an artist and the girl just gifted like she plays classical piano really and she sings and uh, the electric guitar I didn't know anything. Yeah. Else. I mean, I so, but see, that's sing, me. But. That's what I do. I try to figure out why I don't care for you, and then I, I, I have to study to make sure that I ain't tripping. Because sometimes I flip out, I trip too. We all you know do. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But shout out to K. Michelle on her new album. I absolutely love her new album. Mm-hmm. She won me over when she uh, did the song, um, Can't Raise a Man. Yeah, she like, won a lot of people with this. Right. And, a lot of women. Right. With and and so <laughs> I'm just really, really celebrating her um, and her evolving because she's evolving. Mm-hmm. And then I started watching her reality show. Now, I know y'all like, oh, my gosh, she didn't like her. You know, why would she watch a reality show? Because I wanted to get to know K. Michelle, the artist. Well, Kimberly, because that's her real name. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is she still dating Lance Stevenson. Well, no, she was with I- Idris, and she's moved on. And okay. I, I, I mean, you know, one thing I don't know. I guess this, that's just what single women do. Single men do it all the time. I guess you have a couple. You know what I'm saying? A couple of we ain't mad at her. You know, I, that's how I was when I was in when I before we, I got married. We, we are not mad at right her or you or. We do not take it personal. See, well, when we get to cuffing, we we, we do gonna take talk it. about yeah, cuffing we gonna personal. Talk, yeah, we, we because personal I had member. demos. You know what a demo is? Yeah. Okay. That's that, that's what I call my fellas demos. <laughs> <laughs> and if you listening and you used to be a demo, poor Tink Tink, don't be mad. <laughs> don't be now. mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> don't take it personal. Right. That's but so right cool. now we gonna get up into our entertainment spill because it's a lot going on. And make mm-hmm. sure you listen to the Tyra Hill show, the whole show, to have an opportunity to win two pairs of K Michelle tickets for next weekend. Valentine's Day weekend. Valentine's Day. Oh my weekend. goodness. Yes, y'all, y'all might not be getting them tickets. Yeah. Rams head live in the DMV area. So that means if you're in Delaware, that means if you're in Baltimore, that means mm-hmm. if you're in New Jersey, Northern the NY, Virginia. Virginia, District of Columbia, West Virginia, West Virginia you, you have an opportunity <laughs> to win these prizes. This this prize. Okay? So check it. Last week, no, two weeks. Was it last week? We were uh-huh. here. We were here. With Tavon Mason. That was last week. Oh, I love Tavon. Hey, Tay, because I know he's listening. And Erica. And Erica. Erica. Oh, my God. <laughs> Erica. Um, and Erica. And we were talking about Bobby Christie because that Saturday, mm-hmm. um, allegedly, they had found found her in her bathtub mm-hmm. the same way that her mom was. Yeah. Um, 
and and we're coming up on Whitney Houston's death anniversary. I don't even mm. like to call it an anniversary. Mm. We're coming up on the date, which is February the 11th, the that, the, that, the, that the voice passed away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In in the Beverly Hilton, in Beverly Hills, California. Mm-hmm. And um, I just found out and I just heard that they're investigating Bobby's, Chrissy's incident. They are? Because they think some foul play has been involved. Wow. And then I also heard, you know, no shade. You know, this is what I do. I just report. You know, don't be sending me nothing. That her and Nick not even married. Yeah, that's true, though. They investigated it. Right. They're so they're married. not married. Wow. Right, right. I know they were engaged. Mm-hmm. Bobby got very upset about that when he heard and evidently had a confrontation with him in the hospital and end up he ended up leaving the hospital. Well well, let's talk about let's talk about Bobby. Let's talk about the Brown family. You know, everybody got that one family member that's just a mess starter. Mm-hmm. Everybody got it. You know, you know when they come to the cookout that they're going to try to stir up some type of drama or confusion. Mm-hmm. So, allegedly, the Brown family was in a big scuffle at a hotel in Atlanta. And the police were called. Yes. Really? And yes. Bobby Brown's sister. Uh-oh. Yes. And I think it was a nephew. And so, um, I think the nephew had, I think she hit bust the bottle over his head. Yeah, they got real ignorant. With each other? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm thinking they got ignorant with somebody else. Oh, so, you know, I just want to put this out there. Brown family, ain't nobody got time for all that. That baby is fighting for her life. Miss Houston has already been this. through enough. And if you want to be there for Bobby, just be there for moral support and act like it's gumming your hair and cut it out. Act That's like right. you got some sense. Hold on to that. Why are people always showing they, um, a double S when it's time for people to die or somebody to die to somebody in the hospital? Mm-hmm. Folks, good for that. It seems like we, that's when we get the the most ratchet. I'm just saying, set y'all ratchet selves down. That baby fighting for her life. She ain't got yeah. time for that. That is not the time to be acting out, people. Right. So, Bobby, Chrissy, we're still praying for you, sweetheart. And and I'm just going to say this. I've talked, and I oh, I don't even care about the, 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 the feedback that I'm going to get from this one. I talked to a lot of people who have been on the border near death experiences uh-huh. my good girlfriend um regime muzzy um shout out to you baby doll i love you i feel you watching over me i miss you so much sissy um when muzzy had her first experience and her and i talked she would say that it was colors that she couldn't name like everybody that i talked to that had these experiences always say it's colors that we we can't even comprehend like you we look at this and we know it's red but there they would see colors and they wouldn't know what to name it and so muzzy would uh when she came to she was telling her mom hey mom marva if you're listening um how she saw her grandfather and her grandfather told her something that only her mom knew Mm. and so she told her mom and her mom was like you know there's no way that she should know that it was something about her pet or something her kid pet her dog or something right she said she never discussed it with muzzy so it was something that her father could only tell her so i said all of that to say this i believe that bobby chrissy is having a god encounter right now Mm -hmm. and not only is god dealing with her but she's having a heart to heart with her mother Mm. she has a choice to either go to the light caroline or Mm -hmm. not go to the light right and so i just think right now we just need to be praying because that baby was broken she endured so much and i know that they just did the biography movie on her mom i think that might have had a part to play with it but i need for angela bassett to understand this you did what you were supposed to do as a businesswoman please don't carry that burden because you know sometimes we do stuff and we be like oh my god maybe i should have did it this way maybe i was responsible maybe i was responsible you know and me knowing miss bassett i know her heart as far as people and business you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. so she's not a malicious person that's what i'm trying to say true you know so i'm just saying just keep praying for bobby chrissy and hopefully and prayerfully she'll pull up out of this better and stronger than what she went in and the Lord has a plan. And the Lord has a plan. He has a plan. He has a plan. So keep um, the Brown and Houston family in your prayers and really pray for Mother Sissy Houston. That woman yeah. has been through a lot. Through a lot, right? A lot, a lot, her a child, lot. Her grandchild. Right, right. So let's just keep her in our prayers. Now, more in the news. Tracy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got some entertainment news for us. Yes, some I Some spiel. Some spill. Give us the tea, honey. 
Well, you know my favorite show is The Empire, right? Yes, Cookie, Mine Cookie, too. your boss, baby. So, Team Cookie. Team Cookie. So it was some shots fired, shots. Bang, bang, a lot of sh- real shots, bang, in bang, the, in the studio, real shots. Where it went down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. More yeah. shots than them we fired. Got real brothers got the fighting. And How the brother gonna set the other brother up? That's Baltimore talk, brother, it, brother. brother. It wasn't the oh yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't the, it wasn't the, was the brother. older brother. Yeah, he set the little brother up, brother, but they don't right. even know. They don't even know. They don't even. Know. And it's really his then mouthpiece that's that's directing him. But we're gonna get so, there. So let me ask y'all, who do you like better, Scandal Now or Empire? I never was a scandal person, so I, I like Scandal better on Netflix. Boo. I'm sorry. On Netflix. Yeah. But you you rocking out with Empire? Yeah, yeah, okay, so we done we done got Scandal up out of the way. Empire and Power. I'm not a power I mean, person. I'm I, I only got one season. They both on one season. Like probably ain't come back on yet. I mean, I like them both. I think they're in a the category by themselves. You, Polo, you shaking your head. What you got to say, Polo? What 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 you got to say? No, they cool shows. They cool shows. Mm. Okay, okay, so I mean? just over the weekend. Uh, which one's better? Which one is better? I like Deception. Oh, moving on. Uh, he done do something. Well, Deception other. is a good show. Good he done do something else. He make it good. Well, you know what? I got to say this about Megan. Uh, and uh because I, I wanna actually interview Megan because Megan, because I wanna know what the Saints got to say about her sex appeal. Because mm. she's married to a pastor. Mm. Did y'all know that? Yeah, I knew it. So I just be wanting to say what the Saints be like, like Megan. Right, right, right. Like, come and holler at me because, you know, I, I can tell you some Saints stories. You know, but I just <laughs> wanted because as a first lady, they always put you on this pedal stool. And they always, you know, you're supposed to be prestigious. You're supposed to wear the hats every Sunday. You're supposed to do this. So I just want to know what type of first lady is making good. Can't even the kind see of cash her checks. First you can't see her as like, a first I didn't lady. even think about it until you said it. Like, dang, really? <laughs> <laughs> but the kind is cash and checks. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all crazy. Y'all is crazy. But let me say this, and I know I'm late. Y'all know Tyra Hill schedule is off the chain. So say what you want to say about me, but say it say it right. I just watched. <laughs> I just watched the James Brown movie for the first time last night. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, my god! Get up, fuck. Get on it's up. Good. I said to get up, fuck. That police get on chase up. got me. I said me. stay on the was scene. Was it good? That police Oh, chase. my goodness. Let me tell y'all. When I was watching the um, James Brown movie, mm-hmm. I was dying laughing, having flashbacks, because I remember that police chase. I remember when James Brown went to the prison. Like, I remember all of that. Right, right. But here's the thing. And I just did a video this week. Did y'all see my video? Yes. Did, did y'all ain't see my video? That's what the whole team is getting fired. <laughs> I, y'all know I fire people quick. Quick. But the video was just saying, um, just encouraging people to walk out their purpose and their destiny. So for those who didn't 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 know this about James Brown, I'm gonna say this. When he was born, he was born dead. And his aunt, his great aunt that midwifed him, blew into his mouth and he started screaming. And she knew that he was going to be gifted and rich one day. She Mm. told him this. And so it just goes back to you never know somebody's purpose or destiny. Like even the hardship that he endured, his mom left him. Mm -hmm. And and if you haven't seen the movie, get the movie. I'm not going to tell the whole movie, but it's a scene where the mom left. She wanted to take him. The father pulled out his pistol and was going to shoot her. She couldn't take her son. And as the mother was walking away, the Negro shot at her. Okay? Been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But years later, he was living with his Aunt Honey. All Southern people, South people got an Aunt Honey. I got an Aunt Honey. An Aunt Honey. Hey, Aunt Honey. Rest in peace, baby. Um, But his Aunt Honey, who was a madam, mm -hmm, Mm. raised him and... He was out working on her behalf and he saw his mom with this soldier and he was like, mama, mama, mama. And the guy was like, you know this little nigga? And she was like, no. She denied him. Oh, my. But the very moment that he performed at the Apollo, she was there. Mm -hmm. So I said all of this to say this. To all you ratchet mothers and fathers out there, you never know what God created your child to be. Mm -hmm. It will behoove you to do right by your children. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, and I thank God for my mama. My mama didn't know that I would be setting 
owning my own radio show, but she still instilled in me values and morals, and she got me ready for whatever greatness I was going to come upon. So she did her job. She did her job. And that's all that And that's all requires. that matters. Do your job. Now, the only one thing my mama didn't do, and I ain't going to hold this against her because I know she's listening. She's probably going to text me. Uh-oh. She should have put me in piano lessons, but no, she made me play the French horn and the trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> and if she would have put me in piano lessons, Bertha, you probably would never have to work a day in your life because I could be like Layla Hathaway or somebody. But mommy, I love you and I appreciate you for everything that you, you did. You know you get ready to get a text. Because you did the best that you could do. She going to say you did something when she talked right. about piano lessons. You said no. no. What, you know she I keep bringing it up even like close to my 40s. Uh-huh. And she like, just find a school and I'll pay for it now. <laughs> Ma, it's too late now. Well, it's never too late. Never too late. But I don't have time for it now. You, you know, so time. I'll Don't still plunk a no. I can still play chords and tell you E C G, but I would love to be great at it. You know what I'm saying? Now's the time. So I don't know. I don't have enough time. So with that being said, parents. Yes. Do right by your children. Do right by your children. Don't beat your children down. Don't be calling them B's and MFers and yes. stupid None of that. and ignorant and stuff that. like that. You know, I may slip up and cuss at Polo every once in a while now. But growing up, Polo, I never called you B's or MFers, did I? I call them that now. <laughs> Don't do that to my baby. Look at my baby. <laughs> Big did baby. He just, did, he, did he just sign language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If y'all watching the Pump. stream live, Pump. I worked with deaf people for 10 years, and Polo just did, just told Derek something. <laughs> Punk. Young Punk. <laughs> do you remember what this one is, Polo? <laughs> well, on the spill. So, Tracy, you said yes. something about ISIS. What's going on with ISIS? Well, they up here kidnapping people, kids. But you know, human trafficking been on the rise for a long time. Human mm-hmm. trafficking mm-hmm. is real. It's on the rise. Let me tell y'all, ninety five goes all the way up to Maine, up and down the East all Coast. the way down to Florida. Yes. I have to travel and commute up 95 to get to D.C., Maryland, New York, or whatever. You stop New Jersey, Philly. You stop on 95 and go into the restroom. They have human trafficking things in the store where you can call a number if you need to be a rescue. I'm not reading them walls. I was like, oh, my gosh. No. It's like big <laughs> signs like, have you been taken against your will? Dial this number right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that. I heard they do have those signs. In They're the- everywhere. So it's it made me scared to even it's use the bathroom. The, I guess they're not in the it's men's not room. not a game. It, it made me scared we've to use the bathroom. Examples, though. Remember the example of the people that own the 7-Eleven? Yeah. That, that they were into human trafficking. Right. So, and uh, about, it might have been a year ago, the one guy that had the, the girl... Remember the girl just got snatched from here. A guy tried to try to snatch her from and the I'm bank machine. And I'm glad that you said that about so the girl lot. being it, snatched it, from here. It is a lot going on. Because the here's the thing. I got two points. The first point. The first point is, young women, we're yeah. coming up on spring break. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all a half of something. Mm-hmm. Don't be talking to dudes that y'all don't know, because you're going to end up missing. You, for real, for real. It is not a game. They prey on mm-hmm. times like this. They're drinking everything. They watch pushing everything. Your face. Where you staying don't at? Y'all so stupid. Y'all just talk to anybody. Y'all say stuff like, where you staying at? Are we staying here? Oh, who you staying with? Oh, just me and my girlfriends. You don't need to give out that information. Stop being so yeah. thirsty. Yeah. No, they ain't thirsty. They, y'all dehydrated. Stop <laughs> being so freaking well, gullible. Well, here's the educational fact. Okay, okay. what's the educational so, fact? So, since we on that, uh-huh. I was watching the news the other day. Uh-huh. And I think they said it was over, like, 13,000 people in Baltimore who are infected with HIV. Oh, well, Monday. What, what? That ain't not. African American AIDS Day is coming up. And 8,000 yeah. them on Park Heights. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Derek, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's a joke. Oh, my gosh. That's a joke. That's Look, a joke. see, he didn't mean it. That is a fellow. He didn't mean it. That is a fellow Baltimorean right there. I'm from the FLINT. I don't talk about y'all Park Heights people because I don't want y'all talking about Park City. <laughs> that was a joke. That I was will. a joke. But no, for real, go get tested. Know your status. Know, know, your status. know what's yes, up. Yes. And then, you know, and to piggyback up off that, remember the young lady that came down here to uh, visit her sister from North Crackalacka, North Carolina? Felicia. Felicia, Felicia Barnes. Barnes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what happened with the first trial? I kind of fell off because I know the first trial was a mistrial. Mm-hmm. Now they're about to char- try to charge him again, and I think mm-hmm. they're going with second-degree murder this time. Mm-hmm. So, Derek, 
what's up with this? Like, I why they can't get a conviction? They say they don't have enough evidence, evidence. enough enough solid evidence. <laughs> Everything right now is circumstantial. Mm -hmm. So they don't have enough solid evidence to keep him in. So, and this is going to actually be the last. This is the third one from what I hear coming up. Well, it is the third one because so the this second is one, it. yeah. This is it. But see, here's the thing. Let me say something to the prosecutors out I there. Didn't, I didn't like the, the initial. I'm, I'm glad there's a new prosecutor. I'm, I'm going to put my belief in her mm -hmm. and say that you know she is she's been in the public eye recently so i'm i'm going to put my faith in her and believe that she's going to get this done okay so for all of my people that's listening this story went worldwide it happened in baltimore but it was on national news cbn um cnn nbc uh -huh. abc it was all over the world the young lady came from north carolina to visit her sister, her sister. and i think it at the time he was her sister's man Boyfriend. 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 Yeah. And so um, he murdered her. He kidnapped her. She murdered disappeared. her. She disappeared. And allegedly. And allegedly. He was involved. He was involved. Good words, Derek. So here's the thing. I need for the prosecutors to understand. You can't go after people and not charge them the right way. Because when you do, they fall through, they fall the, through crack. the crack. We That's saw it with George Zimmerman. Yeah. It wasn't the fact that George Zimmerman was not guilty. They didn't charge him with, with the, the right charge. Exactly. And the jury could not convict him on the charge that he was accused of. Yes. So here's the thing. This is why it's so That's important. Vital information. For vital information. That's vital information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To all the families of victims, understand that a prosecutor can only be as good as testimony and evidence. Yes. So if a, if a prosecutor comes to you and says... This is what we can charge and convict him with. Even though you may want first degree murder, put him under the jail. If that's what they have and they can get that done, understand their position. Understand that because if you if they charge him with something more and it does not stick, that person ends up walking. And that's not what you really want. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so here's the thing. You have to be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. Mm. You know, because if you try to make them, give them, say for example, um, I get in the car, I'm drunk, I hit somebody, I kill them. Involuntary manslaughter, manslaughter, voluntary manslaughter. Those are three different charges. Yes. Mm. So you have to have the right charge Gotta to get right a charge. conviction. Got to have okay? Right. And so I want to see how this plays out and we're praying for the Barnes family. Definitely. Shout out to Definitely. my girl Annika, who I absolutely love, who I used to work with. But guess what, y'all? I want to talk about Selma. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we have we have heard reviews all over this world that Selma was absolutely off the chain. Mm. Off the chain, off the chain. And then what I liked about Selma, um, the, the characters, I love the fact that they went with characters of our peers, like Common. Yes, yes. I love the fact that Lettucey played Mahalia Jackson in the movie. Mm. Okay, so Dr. King in the movie Selma calls Mahalia Jackson, Mother Mahalia Jackson, Mrs. Mahalia Jackson. If you don't know who she is, Google her. You should know who she is. You should calls Mahalia Jackson oh I gotta remember Tova sung Mahalia Jackson Precious Lord oh my. and looked like her and sung like her oh my. I gotta find that video you do. and um, uh, Dr. King calls uh, Mahalia Jackson and he needs some words of encouragement and she sings Precious Lord y'all know Precious Lord it's a hymn get, get into the hymns of the church y'all and so the Grammys the shady 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 Grammys mirror mirror on the wall how are the Grammys shady if at all <laughs> yes, because y'all know y'all shady. The Grammys wants Beyonce to perform Precious Lord and not let us see. Ooh. What the heck? Like, what? Like, like and, 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 and pause for the cause. I like B. Yes. But she ain't singing in the movies. In the movies, so why is she singing it at the Grammy? And then here's the thing Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Y'all shady, shady, shady. Why y'all always trying to put light skin against dark skin? They do. I'm so sick of now, them. You, you've heard I'm all those calling it out well, right then. now. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick of them. Why can't Lettucey sing Precious Lord at the Grammys? And why would you call Beyonce? Because Beyonce gonna bring numbers. 
Mm. I'm so sick of y'all. And guess what? As African Americans, we should stand for something we or should. fall for anything. Well, exactly. And that's why I'm not watching the Grammys tonight. You heard it here. And although I'm not watching them, I'm going to tell y'all who are for nominations. <laughs> <laughs> Year. Now we're gonna go through this real real quick. Polo, this record of the year thing. They talking about the lighter of the light skin. Record the, of the, the year. The powers that be. Iggy. Iggy. I'm so fancy. Another, you another said the album the or the record? Record uh, well, of the year. Well, we call them records. We old. Right. Record no, I mean, of the year. <laughs> the, the, rec the song. Okay. Record of the I year. Fancy Iggy featuring Charlie. Um, Chandelier. See ya. Um, stay with me. Dark Child Sam verse, Smith. stay with me. Sam I love that Smith. song. I love yes, that. honey, Sam Smith. Mm -hmm. Shake it off, Taylor Swift. I like Taylor. I love Taylor. Taylor is America's sweetheart. She is. And every Kanye put Taylor on when Kanye snatched that mic. She yes, been blowing up every since. Kanye, you so stupid. Taylor is gifted though. Yes, right. He is. Um. All about that bass, about that bass, no about that trouble. bass. Yeah, Megan. So she's up. Okay, so. It was that was record of the year. Album of the year. Mm -hmm. Morning Phase by Beck. They better had J. Cole. Beyonce. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah. X Ed Sharon. In the Lonely Hour. Sam Smith. I love his CD. Girl, Pharrell Williams. Is it me or does Pharrell don't age? He doesn't age. But did you see a picture of his father? No. Oh my! You, you, if you see the picture of his father, then I don't know why. You'll know exactly. Okay, why. so y'all got to pull that picture up for me. Song of the year. It's all about that bass, about that bass. No trouble. Again, song of the year. Chandelier, shake it off by Max Martin. Oh my goodness, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift wrote that song. It's Kendrick Lamar. All right. There. Stay with me. Um, take me to church. Take me to the best church. new artist. Iggy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Bastille Brandy Clark Ham Sam Smith Best Pop Solo Performance All of Me John Legend Live Chandelier Stay With Me Shake It Off Happy For Real Best Pop Duo Group Performance Fancy mm -hmm. A Sky Full of Stars My girl Say man. Something Bang Bang Y'all know who that's with, right? Jesse J. Bang, bang. Mm hmm Nicki Minaj. Dark Horse. Mm hmm mm. Yes. Yes. Let me y'all so crazy. That's right. When that beat drop. <laughs> y'all is so crazy. Y'all like, yes, yep, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to find Twerk uh, it out. Twerk it out. Oh, okay. Cause y'all know I'm I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Best rock performance. Give me something good. Ryan Adams. I love him. Do I want to know? Arctic Monkeys. Blue Moon. Beck. I love Beck. Fever. The Black Keys. Uh, Lazaretto. Jack White. Um, but this is what I want to go to. I want to know where is all of the hip hop. Oh, I forgot. The Grammys really don't do hip hop. So let's go down to R&B. Mm. Best R&B performance. Drunk in Love. Uh, Beyonce featuring Jay Z. R and B. Yes. There's some blues and rhythm. New oh, plenty of rhythm. New but. Flame. Chris Brown yes. featuring Usher and Rick Ross. It's your world. Jennifer Hudson featuring R. Kelly. Like this. Let it see. And Usher, good kisser. So I don't know. I don't know who gonna win, y'all. Chris Brown. Y'all think Chris Brown gonna win? Mm -mm. Chris Brown. Mm -mm. Too many illegal issues. Beyonce. So okay, Beyonce. So speaking of Chris Brown, Chris Brown just did his 100 hours that he needed to do in community service because the judge would not let him travel and some of his tour got canceled. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to Chris Brown. Post we are, no, we are postponed. Postpone, but you know, still, it cost them like money. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it cost them millions of dollars. Of so let me money. say this real, 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 real quick. Real, real, real quick. If you hanging around some people mm -hmm. and they allow for you to do tomfoolery, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the I'm a, the word that that rhymes with tuckery. <laughs> if they allow for you to do some tuckery, okay, then you need to get a whole uh, get a new whole new circle of people. Yeah. Because here's the thing: somebody in his squad, somebody on his squad, or somebody in his circle should have been like, "Yo, you tripping? You need to finish them hundred hours of community hours service mm -hmm. hours yep. so you can go take the world by storm." Yeah. Note to circle: 
If y'all ain't making sure he's straight, y'all ain't going to eat either. Right. Yeah. Bunch of sitting around, welching. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Y'all going to not lazy. make sure this man does it. And you eating off it. Make sure he does what he's supposed to do. Well, like y'all ain't doing anyway. nothing else anyway. Well, Derek, thank you. Derek, you sounded like a true father. Uh, he lost anyway. Man. Well, I love him still. So tonight, who's watching the Grammys? Are y'all watching the Grammys? I'm not mm. a Grammy fan. Well, I'll find out who won on tomorrow. I'm telling y'all, today's show is going to be off the chain. Mm -hmm. Don't go nowhere. Today we're talking L O V E love. That's right. Why? Why? Why be want to sound? Love. Why I want to do Bootsy song? Why I be want to put? You know how Bootsy did I N D E P. Why I be want to put love on like L O V E? I mean, got you happy about it. <laughs> she must be. See, in and this love. the thing. This the question we. The other question we asking is being single. Uh, 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 on Valentine's Day, a curse or is it a blessing in disguise? A blessing We're talking L O V E love. We want to know the definition of it. cuffing. We want to know is cuffing yes. season over? We want to know oh, what boy. gifts are hot, what <laughs> gifts are not, but don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. And don't forget, when you hear the K Michelle song, uh -huh. you want to dial 888 400 5574. Four zero zero five five seven four. Only when you hear one of K. Michelle's songs, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Yeah. Why 